Okay, back on OBS and simple stream recorder at the same time. Let's see what uh, resource. Yeah, now it jumped up to 40%. So, but it shows it to be in a simple screen recorder. Well, Firefox is using more too now. But that's a quite a bit of work. You couldn't really do much else on the computer. You couldn't you make a desktop video showing your work or anything that way. I'm going to reload this. And then I'm going to, well, yeah, I can't really sit here and watch the, um, I can't watch this quit. I was thinking I would watch this quit, but uh, turned off OBS, <coughs> but I can't, uh, oh, can both work together. Don't, you I'm don't, and OBS if you forget again. and don't pause this and it's working your machine, it'll just keep climbing. Better really watch out. See you. You see how much YouTube is uh, causing this YouTube uh, live stream page is causing to be used <clears throat> quite a bit. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this stream now. Hit save. Don't hit cancel. It'll release your file. So I'm gonna hit save recording. And it has been saved. Now back to the start screen. Now I'm going to... Um, let's see if it goes back up when I just open OBS. It's re reloaded and it should say you're not streaming. Yeah, you're not. St you're offline now. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, everything went back down now simple screen recorder is not using up a bunch of stuff and uh, firefox is not so near as bad as it was but i'm gonna close it to help it things out shows one watching now i wonder if that's a person watching or if that's me sometimes it doesn't show any and sometimes it shows one but they can't well i mean there's nothing going right now hell they can watch of course somebody could be watching the uh the video that it made but uh, now let's go back I'm gonna go back through here and uh, make sure yeah okay am I making a is this OBS yeah yeah we're making looks like we're making a new video up there so um, yeah so I'm gonna go through the little I want to see if I can that right there, I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Yeah, okay, I've only got the one. I really, I'd like to rename that. It looks stupid, but because I misspelled simple. But uh, yeah, there's two places. That's input profile, and then now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you. I, I guess I can make my own custom one or something, like I did there and then set the settings I want but uh, okay so anytime I want to do that I just switch to 3000 kilobytes I could do see use 1000 2000 3000 so I'm at the max this thing it even has in it I just wonder if I could do 2000 and do okay of course that's 500 less than what uh, um, OBS was defaulted to, so I don't know if that would even work on YouTube now. It might, but it certainly didn't look. Uh, I guess I could try it, but yeah. And if I go back to, let's see what if we go back, what will it do? Just goes changes that. Looks like it's the only thing it changes. Oh, and I had to put the. Oh, that's what they were talking about. You got to put your info in every time because it doesn't save it for you. So I have to put the stream address, username, and the stream key in there. Yeah. I mean, unless you'd like made you, maybe if you made a custom profile somehow. I don't think you can necessarily because what is high quality? See, now that's for saving as a file. And that's the one I set up. That's mine. Saving as a file. And, um. Uh, yeah, oh, OBS, I think, is on very fast, and this one's on super fast, which is less intensive on the CPU. But I didn't change it because I figured I didn't want to make it work. It already works hard enough. You know, it works the system hard enough. And the 
none. I don't want to do that. I'm afraid I'll lose all my settings. But see, this doesn't say that says Don output. So this is a different. It said output profile right there. So this is a different thing than the very first one, and that really kind of threw me for a loop. So um, yeah, I could try that, but I don't. I'm tired and getting really hungry. I'm gonna have to eat my supper, so I'm not gonna start another one. And my throat's getting sore from talking. Okay, so I can do it. I figured out how to stream with this, so now I can stream at least. I'll have to play around with it if I decide to really want. I want to use it uh, for streaming. <clears throat> um, actually, streaming is how I would want to use it because uh, our, you know, I. I can do much better desktop recordings on OBS. Um, but yeah, there's no option to make your own custom streaming. You can pick one of those. Okay. And YouTube, it defaults to Matroska, MKV. And I changed all those last time and then but yeah, if you go if you go change your, your deal, it goes back to the default. So it's a good thing that I did make my own See, that always goes back to what I had. Um, yeah, I, I am really curious as to whether or not that would work better and not get me a green stream instead of a bad stream. Um, and see, once you go to the next one there, then you're ready to go. You can't go back. You have to. You can go back in all the other screens, but with that one, you just have to hit cancel recording or start recording. And of course, I didn't even fill it out, so it wouldn't work. So, um, so I'll hit cancel. Oh, if you hit cancel, it goes back to there. Okay. So yeah, I guess I'll leave it uh, on that one because then, you know, at least it'll. If I just start recording a file, that won't be so bad. <laughs> but if I hit, hit the, uh, you know. And it goes errors out, then I'll be what's going on here. So, you know, that is where I can start recording again. And there's no audio this time. Huh. I wonder if you have to have the simple screen record. No, I didn't last time. Um, let's see, where am I? Cancel recording. It should be. Okay. That's the first time I've seen the uh, mic not uh, not come in, but it's working over here in uh, this in uh, OBS. I don't. I was sitting there thinking, well, maybe I need to have this one open first and then start OBS. But well, actually, that's how it was. Maybe it needs to be the other way around. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I didn't close this app. Did I? Anyway, that's the first time I've seen it. I would imagine it's because I'm using it in OBS. But, or maybe I, if I just close the app and open it back up, it would uh, work. I just got out of whack. But, uh Yeah, I think I'll open it up one more time just to see. Now I'm I'm wondering. Yeah, there's only one the one I made there, and then there's this one for recording. Will be everything looks good. Nope, no sound. So I don't know what happened. Uh, it's the first time I've seen it. You know, not. It's it's got to be because I'm running OBS, but I've never seen them do that. That what I would expect it all along is a conflict there. I wonder if my ah, uh, oh, let's see. I know what it could be. Well, at the very first time I tried to do use this monitor a built-in. Uh, it went back to that. Uh, luckily, I didn't get it. Didn't do that to me. 
So monitor built in. You need built in analog stereo to get to SM58. And and I have my lapel plugged in. That would probably work too. Let's see. First, let's do the uh, this one to make sure it works. Okay. okay. And preview. Okay. Audio's back. So that's what it was. It was nothing to do with OBS or any, any. I thought that was really weird that it would suddenly start having trouble. Cancel. Now we'll go back. So you got to pay attention to your source. Uh, and it got messed up from after me flip, switching things around back and forth. Now this is my uh, USB mono sound card. Uh, mono mic, but stereo output. And uh, it should work. I think I... Oh, there it is. Uh, I guess I left the preview on or something, but it's uh, it doesn't have now. In this, you see, I'm using compression and all that and noise gate in OBS. This doesn't have any of that stuff, so it would be uh, much more likely to to peg it out and everything. It doesn't look like it's too bad though, does it? So I wouldn't want to use it, and it wouldn't sound near as good as the SM58. So I wouldn't want to use that thing. If I was gonna use one, you know, in if I was gonna use one in here and the other one in the other, I would use some SM58 in here because I have a compressor and noise gate, you know, on my on my desk here. So, <laughs> so um, check one, two, yeah. So um, yeah, if I leave it like that, then it'll be all right. Okay. Now, there we go. That that's what it was. So, I'm really getting tired. I think I've got sidetracked for too long today. So I'm going to have to eat. And, uh, well, I didn't do what I had planned. I really and truly planned to reinstall OBS one more time. I was going to go right to that and see if I could fix it. Because if I, you know, uninstall it, delete the... Uh, folder with its uh, that that config you know in the dot config folder for obs in the dot config folder in my home directory the obs folder inside of there then uh then reinstall it it'll all be clean from scratch and well hopefully i mean i don't know for sure if there might be anything left back in the other in the root directories but uh but probably not then again, you don't know. I, I wouldn't have expected those folders to have stayed, and they did. I mean, it was nice when I opened. It's really nice to have everything still there. You know, all these, all my configurations. Of course, I had them backed up, and I wasn't. I, I was knew I could put them back in here, but but it doesn't stream. So uh, I got. I'm gonna keep on trying everything I can think of. I have found no help whatsoever on the. You know, on the internet on the forums uh, the only thing anybody says is you know it's probably your nvidia drivers uh, and um, that's one that's number one they're talking to people on windows machines and number two i don't have nvidia chip you know i have uh, intel for my my gpu video you know chip so all right, so I'm gonna go uh, now. I'm I'm feeling pretty tired, so imagine I may not even work anymore tonight. We'll see. All right, uh, see you later then. Bye bye.